Uh, with all due respect, he mentioned, uh, you know, other countries, and I just wanted to uh, point out that other countries don't have the freedoms and don't live the way we do in our great democracy or republic, whichever, and, uh, and I don't think that they, they don't have the constitutional rights that we have under the Second Amendment. And so our citizens are asked to have that constitution respected. And it's not, I don't believe I use the word inconvenient at all. What I used is the words trampling our constitutional rights. And that is what I think is important here, that we not talk about, that we not talk about uh, uh, the uh, gentleman from Massachusetts mentioning these inconvenient things. I'm talking about our citizens' constitutional rights under the Second, District, under the Second Amendment. And with that, Madam Speaker, I yield one and a half minutes to the gentlewoman from North Carolina. The gentlewoman is recognized. I, I thank the gentlewoman for yielding. Madam Speaker, I rise today in opposition to H.R. 2377, the Extreme Risk Protection Order Act. Simply put, this bill tramples upon the Second Amendment by means of destroying the Fifth. However, I'd like to direct my argument against the bill towards another amendment, the Tenth, which reserves power to the states. Nineteen states have already enacted red flag laws in some form or another, and all 31 additional states have the authority to do so. The federal government must ask itself whether this bill will add any measure of additional security that states are not already able to make for themselves. The federal government must also look to these states to gauge whether red flag laws have any effect on gun violence at all. It is certainly not the case in Chicago, Illinois, a city subject to state red flag laws, which leads all American cities in the number of persons killed and injured in mass shootings over the past four years. Red flag laws have saved no lives in Chicago. This bill is redundant, not to mention likely ineffective, Americans deserve better than this. I yield back to the gentlewoman from Minnesota. Reserve. Gentlewoman.